Hello year one, I hope that you are all okay and enjoying your online learning today. Today in maths we are going to be continuing learning about equal groups but we are going to be adding them together. Before we start please can you write your short date 06052020 and the li to add equal groups to find a total. Pause the video to do this. Now before we start our learning it is important that we know how to count in twos, fives and tens and we are very very confident. So before you start the rest of the lesson please go to these links to count in twos, fives and tens with Jack Hartman. Pause the video to do this now. Well done for counting in twos, fives and tens. So we're just going to recap what the words equal and unequal mean. So remember equals means the same equals means the same so we have the same amount on, of spots on each ladybird one two three one two three one two three and unequal means different they are not the same amount on each plate so here we have two cookies here we have three here we have two here we have three and here we have two so they are unequal amounts of cookies because they are all different on each plate now, are these groups equal or unequal? So we have some hats, three groups of hats, three groups of cubes, and four groups of green spots. Pause the video to work out if these groups are equal or unequal. The answers are unequal. These hats are unequal. So we have a group of three, a group of three, and a group of two. Well done if you got it correct. Here the groups are equal. We have three cubes, three cubes, and three cubes. So three groups of three cubes. So they are the same, they are equal. Well done if you got it correct. And this one was tricky. They are equal. So the dots might look different, they are in different orders, but they all have four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done if you got those all correct. Now today we are going to be adding equal groups. What do you think that means? Pause the video to talk about it with your adult. It means that we will be adding together equal groups. So we are going to find our equal groups and add them together to find out how many we have all together. So here we have three equal groups of two cookies. One, two, one, two. One, two. So you just saw me counting the groups. So it's really important that we count them all just so that we are sure. So your number sentence would look like this. Two add two add two equals, and then we can count in twos. Two, four, six. The answer is six. We have six cookies all together. Now this is my turn. I'm going to show you another way to do it. So there are... One, two, three, four, five bikes. Five bikes, I'm trying to work out how many wheels I have. So I have five bikes and each bike has one, two, two wheels. Let's check that they all have two wheels. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So they are equal, each bike does have two wheels. So now we are going to add them together. So our number sentence looks like this. 2 add 2 add 2 add 2 add 2 equals, and remember, instead of counting them all individually, we are going to count in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have 10 wheels. And if it's a bit tricky, you can get cubes and um, put them next to the numbers and then count them all together afterwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you still get the same answer. Miss Zadie, Miss Stello and Miss Morgan were thinking about how many fingers they have all together. So how many fingers do we have when we add them all together? There's Miss Zadie, Miss Stello and me. Each teacher has, let's check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Each teacher has 10 fingers so it is equal. There are 1, 2, three teachers. Now another way that we can show this is with our tens frames. Here's Miss Sadie's, Miss Thello's and mine. So we can use our tens frames also to work out our number sentence. 10 add 10 add 10. So we can count in tens 10, 20, 30. 
So our answer is 30 altogether, that we have 30 fingers. How many apples are there altogether? Complete the sentences. So there are four bags of apples. Let's check one, two, three, four. There are five apples in each bag. Now we'll check that. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So they all do have five apples. They are all equal. Now what we can do is get a number track. So there are five apples and another five and another five and another five. And it shows that we have 20. So our number sentence would be five add five add five add five equals 20. Five, 10, 15, 20. Now it is your turn. There are something pairs, pairs means groups of two of socks. Each pair has something socks and then write your number sentence. There are something groups of balloons. Each group has something balloons and your number sentences. Remember, you can use small objects to help you work out the number sentences if you're struggling to count in twos, fives and tens. And this is your activity if you are in Miss Thurlow and Mrs Coker's phonics group. If you are in my phonics group, this is your activity. There are something pairs. So remember, pairs means groups of two of socks. Each pair has something socks and your number sentence and do the same for the balloons. And then you have a tricky question. True or false? There are two groups of four cakes. Is this showing two groups of four cakes? And how do you know that you are right? If you are in Miss Zadie or Mrs Meta and Miss Huth's phonics group, here is your activity. So remember, fill it in the um, number sentences and the sentences. And then I need 30 cakes. How many more plates do I need? So you have two groups with five cakes. How many more do you need? And true or false, two groups of 10 is more than four groups of five. So here are two groups of 10 and here are four groups of five. So is that true or false? Thank you for working really hard today and remember to send your work to the year one email address. I hope you have a great day.